Hello YouTube, uh, Felagar here, coming at you from the Harbor Globe, and I thought I just uh, would watch, um, you know, watch one of uh, Aaron's uh, fantastic reviews that uh, um, I heard was a, a pretty funny one to check out, um, and it is his Dracula 3D uh, uh, review. Now I don't know too much about it, only that it's um, an Argento film and that Rudger Hauer, Rudger Hauer uh, stars in it. So here we go. This is kind of like a reaction thing, and uh, you know my personal thoughts. So and uh, um, basically what I thought of uh, this review, I guess, <laughs> I guess it's almost like a review of a review, I suppose. Okay, so here we go. Let's let's check this out. Welcome, guys. It's your Canadian connection, Aaron, for the Horror Globe. And I have suffered for you guys in the last few days. I have watched <laughs> I Spit on Your Grave 2. I have watched uh, the 2006 remake of When a Stranger Calls. Mm, not this time. This time I'm taking a proven commodity. <clears throat> Dario Argento. So, I got my, like, cheesies, cheese-related products. <laughs> got my scaries. Got my tea. And I got my, uh... Soda Stream Pizza Taste Soda, and I am sitting down and I'm getting ready to watch Ayano's latest film, Dracula 3D. So, uh, <laughs> so gentle, so finally, we're going to get rid of that bad movie curse there, and uh, we're going to watch Dracula 3D. I'll be back with my review after this, and maybe I'll be cleansed. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll be cleansed from the last two films that I watched down here. Okay. Yeah. Be back. What the fuck? <laughs> this is our gentle, right? <coughs> this isn't a joke. This is the guy that brought us Suspiria and Tenebrae mm -hmm. and Deep Red. This is the guy that did Bird with Crystal Plumage. Bird with the Crystal Plumage, eh? Hmm. I'm gonna check that out. <sighs> the suffering continues. Dario Gentle's Dracula 3D <clears throat> is just... <sighs> Hope you folks can hear this. I don't know how well Aaron's coming out, but... I can't believe something has actually made me speechless. <laughs> this isn't good, folks. Uh, this isn't good, folks. Director 3D <laughs> starts out with a, a girl <clears throat> that's, uh, she's fooling around this guy in a, what can best be described as a clumsy, softcore sex scene. Clumsy, softcore <sighs> sex. It's obvious that uh, she was kicked for uh, ample reasons. Okay. And uh, later on, she is running from a Dracula. <laughs> Turns to this home where she thinks she's going to be safe. And uh, this can be spotted for the bias and dress. And the guy turns out to be one of Dracula's assistants. Uh, one of, yeah, we'll get to that afterwards. It's no summer, but, uh, Azia Argento is in this movie, and I love Azia Argento. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been Asia watching Argento. her since she's she been with a uh, little kid. I guess we kind of grew up together. I've been watching her as a kid, I mm -hmm. movies as a kid, and me, uh, like, lusting after it's got older. Uh, and I think Azia is not a bad actress for some of the stuff that she's done. No. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, Steiner Fine syndrome, uh, a decent job with Triple X. Uh, if anybody had any talent at all, it sucked out in this movie. Rutger freaking yeah, Howard is Van Helsing in this movie. I was so stoked to see <laughs> Rutger Howard's Van Helsing. What? I've got to show you something. I've got to show you something. Look at this. 
I love it when you go on these rants here, Aaron. It's fantastic. Entertaining. Okay, you saw that? Was that a saw picture? picture right there? That, that was Dracula. Fucking good. That was Dracula. We're not done. Wait. Look at this. That is also Dracula. A fucking mantis? A praying mantis? That is one of the things he turns into. <laughs> I kid you not. This whole movie's a mess. Isaiah Argento miss, stumbles miss, her way through miss. a very bad script that looks like something that would have been on Skinamax as mm. a secondary movie because it's not good enough for the Skinamax movie Ooh. that's coming out first. Uh, Rutger Howard takes a check home in this movie. <clears throat> it's a the whole cast. It's, Dracula's laughable. And I'm sure the guy's a great actor and other stuff, but this movie is such a mess. I really don't know how to describe this film to you. Just go back again. Go back a few frames in this one here. Look at that praying mantis again. That neon green I praying mantis. That mantis. The Dracula turns into. Really? And it, it actually looked superimposed there, Aaron. <laughs> For the effects, I don't know what. <laughs> is this a joke? That Argento is playing on us, you know, kind of like, haha, look, it's not a real movie. Maybe if I saw this in a theater in 3D, no, it still don't get it soft. <laughs> uh, at least then maybe it came and said, oh, look, that's I good love 3D it. effects. But I got a feeling from the look <laughs> of the uh, effects in this film, um, that's pretty much a none. Maybe if I saw it in the theaters in 3D, no, it still yeah. sucks. So. Oh, shit. Well, what do I have to say about Dracula 3D? Don't watch it. Oh, you know, really, I mean, you think Ice Cream, A Spin Your Grave 2 is bad? You think yeah, that, that was a hilarious when a stranger review. calls 2006 is bad? This is in a whole new realm of bad, boys and girls. If you want to riff it with some friends, yeah, go for it. Yeah, it's so sad to see a master of horror come down to this level. I haven't seen a drop like this since... So Mm. Since uh, Haley Halle Berry went from winning an Academy Award doing Catwoman. Oh! oh God. Catwoman. And I reviewed Catwoman. Cheesy fun, but the movie. This is worse. This is good. worse than Catwoman. I'm sorry. This, this was is worse, worse than, than Catwoman. Catwoman. If Catwoman Oof. and Electra got together and had a love child. Oh! That would have really hard. Can't think of anything Halle Berry. Mm. Shit. So, two bad superhero anyway, films if those two would produce a bad horror film. Huh? <laughs> Travis's fantastic. movies came together to become one huge travesty of movie. It would still probably be better than Dario Argento's Dracula 3D. I have no idea what he was thinking here. Ouch. His version of Phantom of the Opera, Julian Sands. You know, the yeah. one where the yeah. Phantom looks like Julian Sands and has no scars except mental scars. That is better than this. Uh, really? Go turn on a random that. channel on TV, that Phantom of and the what Opera. you see will be better than a uh, this. This is just so. You know what? See it. See it. it's because of the same thing. No. Uh, now tell us. This. Now you're telling us. It's a horrible thing to say. See how bad it especially is, especially to such great viewers here. But no, it's really painful. If you want a mystery science theater type of movie. Oh, I mm. so much Mr. Sensei was around right now. Oh, the Rift Tracks is going to have fun with this one. Rift Tracks is going to have fun with this movie. Oh, I know I haven't told you a lot about the movie because you're just getting my overall reaction after watching the movie. Uh, maybe I'll do an update. I really don't know what the hell I can say. It sucked. Uh, I'm blown away that I've just blown away. <laughs> gotten that bad. Well, wow, well, bad it was. And an intervention needs to be done. Oh. Who let him do this movie? Man, I'm serious. Car Power wasn't the best movie, but, you know, it was entertaining. This is just one what the fuck after another mm. what the fuck after what the <laughs> fuck we What the thinking? fuck after Don't one? Check. What the fuck after? That's hilarious.
this is Dracula 3D. This is the pain from Dracula 3D. It's a movie about Dracula in 3D. And Dracula turns into different things. Throughout the film, he will turn into uh, a giant green ass mantis. It's the biggest what the fuck in the movie. Uh, you will see Dracula act bad. You'll see Dracula turn into Dracula a bunch of flies, I think. Seeing him transform uh, to that mantis might be worth a bunch a of conspirators. Say they're gonna get Jack <clears throat> and the only really good scene in the film be slaughtered by Dracula. Too bad the rest of the movie could not keep up this little frenzy attack that he does mm. in the uh, in one sequence. Anyway, Dracula 3D. This is Aaron, your Canadian connection. Uncle Aaron suffers, Canadian so you don't connection. have to. Thanks for Uncle watching, Aaron guys. Suffers so you really don't have to. Tea, Thank but, uh, you. Thank you for that. I kind of wish it had some hard liquor in it. Or something. But right now. Thanks for watching the Horror Club, guys. Uh, subscribe and comment down below, please. Uh, <coughs> hit the like button, you know. It really <coughs> helps. After this, come on, guys. I deserve the like. Jack to 3D. You deserve some tea, sir. It's time for tea. There you go. Wow. Now, normally I, uh, I will put my comments uh, in the comment box, and I, I still might do that. Okay. Um, but I'll, I'll say my comment here in this video. It's almost like a video response or a reaction video and video response. Um, being someone who um, I, I, I really, really enjoy, I, I, I love Argento's work. Now, I haven't seen a whole lot of it. You know, the ones I've seen are, uh, you know, uh, like Phenomena, and uh, did he do the demons, like Demon 1, Demons 2? I've seen those. What, what do I have up over here? That he, I, uh, Inferno, I've yet to see. I've seen Mother of Tears. Um, and uh, did he do uh, House by the Cemetery? I can't remember. I've seen that one, too, and I enjoyed that. Some other Argento films I know I've seen. But in any case, um, yeah, I dig his work, and uh, I haven't seen this one. Uh, and thank you for the warning. I, I may or may not still see it. I may see it, like you said, for uh, just for the shits and grins and just to laugh at it. Um, uh, that that was a hilarious uh, review, sir. I mean, I loved how um, how you uh, <laughs> how how uh, I, and and I've seen you kind of do this lately too, where uh, you you talk about you're about to see this film and then um, you go ahead and you watch it and then you uh, you cut to your reaction video and you you know you. Um, you splice the two uh, footage together of you know before you watch it and then after you watch it, so you get some true reactions there, and uh, you know, fantastic. I I, I loved how you did that. Uh, um, yeah, you, you know, I mean, I I I, uh, I don't know what to say about this film. You know, it, it by the sounds of it, it looks like um, it might be basically pretty much shit. I mean, I've I've grown to trust. Uh, Pretty much all your reviews. Uh, you're one of the people that I absolutely trust, like you and, uh, you know, like Trey Passer and, um, uh, you know, TJ and uh, just too many people to um, to go into. Uh, you know, basically, I trust more of like you YouTubers out there with your reviews uh, more than what I see on like IGN or in the paper. Okay, or the, um, you know, the uh, I guess the. I don't know the word, the professional critics, I guess. Um, yeah, you know what? What is professional, anyways, right? We're we're film fans, you know. So, don't we have uh, opinions as well? Love that review, sir. And um, this is one where I may, I may not see it. I, if I do see it, it won't be for the reason of not believing this review, of course, because <laughs> trust me, I believe it. Uh, it would be for your other reason that you mentioned. Uh, just to laugh at. Maybe this would be one of those films I watch uh, with our dear pal Brian, you know, before he uh, he finally uh, departs to Arizona. Uh, this looks like a good laugh. Um, <laughs> I love the bit when you said, um, uh, maybe if I saw it in theaters in 3D, it might have been... No, the movie was still shit. <laughs> Absolutely love that. Um, so a lot of you folks got to check out this review and check out all of Aaron's reviews. Uh, he does uh, fantastic stuff. I don't know if I will upload this video on my channel. But uh, definitely this is a, a Horror Globe uh, upload.
okay so there we go it was just kind of like a reaction uh, video and just like a response to this uh, um, to one of your reviews remember I told you in one of my comments or it might have been one of my either one of my uh, PMs or, or one of my comments where I said you don't see it but when I'm watching your reviews and other people's reviews not not just yours Aaron but you know a lot of other folks that I watch um, you know a lot of the times too I'm 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 kind of a you know clapping especially if it's a powerful review and you got something something really powerful to say or something you know you know you have like this point to make too uh, and and it's a real strong point you know such as the uh, uh, you know go digital going digital and uh, you know getting rid of all the, the hard copies of things like blu-rays and DVDs you know things like that and I, mean, the, I consider those uh, you know powerful uh, videos you know and you know there's like a you have a statement to make you know things like that where I just uh, I applaud that you know and I absolutely love it and this one was just absolutely hilarious and I, it was a great warning um, loved it okay so there we go um, Thank you folks for watching, and uh, farewell. I'm trying to think, do I have anything else more to add to this? Other than I absolutely uh, loved, uh, loved this review. Good shit, man. Okay.